Hi everyone, this is Tom from Mac Arms. Let's do an experiment. Let's investigate the penetration power of a 9mm standard FMJ bullet. That's a full metal jacket, something like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to find some reasonably uniform material like this fiberboard and then we are going to set them up with two inches of space of intervals in between them, fire the bullet through and see how far it can go. And then what we're going to do is we are going to experiment and we're going to remove all of the spaces in between and so we're going to shoot the block of wood and see if it is the exact same. And then the final experiment is going to be with a JHP or a jacketed hollow point just to test the penetration power of the difference between the two. Let's check it out. So here we go with our fiber boards all set up with two inch spaces of intervals of error in between and we're going to see how far the nine millimeter bullet goes first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take away the spaces of error and see if there is any difference in penetration power. And it looks like I've got myself a little company, which is a bee. All right, so there's our entry area, and it looks like a nice clean hole into board number one. And it goes board one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh. It looks like it went all the way through. So I made a slight miscalculation, but no big deal. So let's take a look at the uh, back wounds there. And I've got a couple extra rungs in the back where I can stick some more boards. And I've also got an area where there's a little bit thicker one. So let's place those up and we'll try another shot and we'll see what happens. And there is the second one up top. And it goes through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh my goodness. And they're going all the way through again. Even the thick boards are added to the back. But look at that last one. It's a little bit wider. Okay, here is the block. There is one board, two with the entrance wound, and there is three boards. Here we go with four and five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there is the bullet. So the bullet penetrated the tenth one, and let's see if we can get that thing out of here. Let me uh, test the heat. Okay, it looks okay. Let's uh, get that thing out of there and whoop, there it goes. And you know what's interesting? If I look at that FMJ bullet, it looks like it has not even changed much shape. It actually retained its shape pretty darn well going through that. And then there's the uh, next board and there's a little bit of indentation on that last piece right there, but most of it is gone right after that. And so I've got um, the space is set up again and I added 10 more boards so we got 18 boards and then I put the double thickness boards three of them at the very very end so let's see if the JHP will go all the way through all those boards like the FMJ did all right so there's our entrance and we got one two three four five six seven and the uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and that is the end of it. We have a little bit of an indentation on the end there. So it looks like 15 boards of penetration so far with the JHP bullet. Hmm. Now let's give the block of wood a shot. And there is the entrance hole kind of towards the top there. And it looks like we have penetrated into the block only one. It looks like 
about five there. Looks like about five. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, about six blocks back, and then it got stuck. That's quite interesting. So Hey guys, of course, top the day off, let's shoot up some Tannerite. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the stuff that we learned. We basically learned that the penetration power of a 9mm bullet is going to be a little bit different with an FMJ versus a JHP. We also learned that if there are gas chambers in between solid structures, the penetration value is definitely going to be different. So a uh, projectile such as a bullet inside of a gun accelerates from the explosion until it reaches the muzzle. Once it exits the muzzle of the rifle, then it encounters air resistance and starts to negatively accelerate or decelerate. And so uh, that is going to carry a certain amount of energy with it as the bullet fires out of the chamber. And so we call that kinetic energy. That's movement energy. And you can look this up in uh, you know, one of the many, many books out there. But uh, you can also calculate it. So the kinetic energy formula basically is going to state that it's directly proportional to its mass and its uh, square of the velocity. So in other words, the more mass of the object, and the faster that the object goes, the more kinetic energy it has. And so this FMJ 9mm bullet is going to carry along with it so much energy until it encounters particles in the air and other objects to stop it. So if we take a look at this, for example, this is uh, going to represent the particles of a gas situation. So that's our regular uh, air. And so as the bullet comes and flies through it, it is going to keep going on forever and ever until something resists it. And this is going to be the molecules of the air. So now the gas situation here are these mo molecules are going to uh, bounce around off each other and they're able to move freely. That's the definition of a gas. And so as it bumps into these particles, it can easily push these aside and it bumps into that one and it kind of pushes it aside and uh, it kind of does that with relative ease. There's not a whole lot of particles to push into, so there's not a whole lot of resistance comparatively to a solid. And so that is one of the reasons why a bullet will travel much further through gas than it will a solid. So what I had set up were these boards are going to represent a solid and see these uh, particles are going to be compacted a little bit closer and they're also going to be rigid. So it takes a lot more energy to knock these apart than it does to push these around that are already floating around. And so as this uh, bullet comes in here, it requires a little more energy to push this into this into this, and it pushes another particle right into another particle. And so it slows the bullet down a lot faster. And the bullet had so much energy with these boards that it was able to just pop the board right through, and all this gas is not pushing on the board. And so it was able to break through many, many, many boards, as we have seen. And so that was not quite as possible for our rigid block of wood. So here we have the block of wood and a bullet. As soon as it hits that, it's going to move those right into there. And there's no free space really to push all the way through. So it requires a lot more energy to push more particles out of the way in a uh, combined solid state and so that is going to stop the bullet at a much more resistance than a gas or even a solid with gas intervals in between and so I really hope you guys found this interesting and enjoyable and we tested the penetration power of an FMJ 9 millimeter bullet versus the JHP and also with gas intervals in between and we took those intervals out and so stay tuned for some other ones that we might share. Uh, we might do different calibers of the same experiment or uh, show more physics calculations on the energy of the bullets and so on and so forth. Thanks a lot for watching again. I'm Tom from Mac Arms. <laughs>